Just 27 days remaining to the death date for the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission for the repeat presidential election. In studio for this conversation is Honorable Gladwell Tungo, who is the Member of Parliament, uh, Baringo Central, elected under a Kanu ticket. We had also invited Honorable Gladys Wanga, Member of Parliament for Homer Bay, but she has not been able to make it to studio this morning. Honorable Tungo, many thanks for joining us. Uh, so let's begin uh, with the election stalemate in uh, the country. IBC uh, still insists officially the date remains the 17th of October. Uh, but of course we've had the opposition uh, led by Raila Odinga coming out to say there is still enough time uh, for IBC to contract another firm uh, to, uh, to deal with the transmission of election results. And uh, this is with regard to the French firm uh, Safrom and uh, Morpho, which uh, Raila Odinga says bungled the elections and cannot be mandated uh, with the carrying out this election once again. And we've seen Jubilee supporting uh, IBC's decision to have this firm continue uh, with uh, the uh, transmission of results. Your thoughts on this, considering that uh, the firm itself says it might not be able to meet the timeline set by IBC. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, before maybe I go to the point, mm -hmm. I want to make a point of correction on my title, that I'm the county MP for Baringo, but not for Baringo Central. Oh, there we beg your pardon. Yes. Um, on on, on these uh, IBC issues and change of uh, the farm and the like, uh, in my personal opinion, uh, it's better we go buy the farm that is there. Mm -hmm. Because actually, as much as uh, the opposition or the NASA team is claiming that we have enough time, mm -hmm. According to me, and even according to the farm you've had, that that time is actually so short for them to organize themselves and have us have our elections on time. Right. And so um, it is only good for NASA team and the leader to buy the idea of having the same people. Because in the ruling, it is not about the farm. Mm -hmm. It's not about the farm. I don't believe that they are the ones who actually brought the irregularities. And so we go out with the farm, and maybe we correct what they think we are brought about the irregularities right. in transmitting elections. Mm -hmm. I mean, w wouldn't you though say, because the Supreme Court found that IBC had committed illegalities and irregularities uh, with regard to the transmission of results, and you cannot say it's not about the farm, because it was right in the center of the transmission of these results. Uh, Raila Odinga says, uh, you know, it, it's only fair that this farm be done away with, be sidelined, and have a new farm conduct this election. In terms of confidence uh, for both the Jubilee and NASA, would it you agree uh, with Raila Odinga they're saying there is still enough time to have another farm contracted okay in an exceptional cases if actually if actually the IBC uh, the Jubilee the NASA team they feel and uh, in inaccuracy that we we'll have that enough time mm -hmm. then I don't, I don't have any problem you know what you we want in this Kenya the paramount issue here is we want this Kenya to go forward All right if they can come together and agree and in the, in the essence, in the real essence, we have time. And they know that that time is enough. Mm -hmm. And the farm is allowing that they can change and they can. You know, what we need is smooth running of this repeat of elections. Right. Finally, that's what we want. All right. And of course, uh, Jubilee Party leaders are, are now claiming that uh, NASA presidential candidate uh, Raila Odinga and his allies actually helped Safran Morfo to secure its first contract in 2013. But even with the claims, the opposition chief maintains that what Morfo must go before the repeat polls. Odinga insists there is still enough time for IMBC to engage a new firm to supply election kits. Let's listen in to what he had to say. The company called Safran Morfo from France, which colluded in trying to subvert the will of the people of Kenya, must go. Tunasema hii kampuni ya Ufaransa, ambayo inaetua Safran, kwanza tunataka tujue loko partner zoo hapa ni kina nani. Mimi nasikia Raila Odinga kila mara, analaumu kila mtu, he blames everybody but himself. And I disclose to Kenyans today that our findings were clear that the name Safran Mofo was recommended to the government of Kenya and to IBC by Raila Amolo Odinga. 
All right, so that's what's going on in the political scene, and it's beginning to become politicized now with Jubilee pointing fingers, saying Raila Odinga is opposed to this farm, but he helped it secure uh, its uh, first deal in Kenya in 2013. But again, the opposition says Jubilee is, is, is insisting on this farm because there is a collusion, uh, so to speak. I remember Saffron Moore for coming out and saying they had done an internal audit uh, of uh, their servers and transmission system, and uh, it shows that there was no hacking. But uh, as it stands, the Supreme Court ordered for IBC to open up its servers, even to NASA, and that was not able to happen. So the question has been, how were they able to access these servers and conduct an audit? Is there some foul play here? Uh, you know, uh, what is in the, inside this uh, transmission, IBC issues, the NASA complications, the, AIA, the Jubilee claims, when you look at it very well, uh, there are some people who would be knowing more than what we know, mm -hmm. um, of which we cannot know who they are. But the fact remains, even after it was not opened and they were able to get to know what went around in the transmission and the like, mm -hmm. I think they had better come out. Because as you have heard uh, Ababu Namwamba say, mm -hmm. the people, who, the person who actually pointed out who should transmit these things for us, the server, the outmorpho, is Raila himself. Mm -hmm. Now, at this given moment, is not for it. I mean, whatever happened in between, they, are, they, they, best, they best know it mm -hmm. because we were not brought in, the, in, the, 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 in through the broad uh, daylight right. to see exactly what happened in this IBC transmission mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. So the truth of the matter, if they know where exactly the problem was, let, let them come out and tell us where the problem was. But we cannot be changing or shifting goalposts every now and then. Right. We need this, we don't want this. Mm -hmm. And you know, in my community where I come from, where I come from, if you marry, like you have, you have been told, Otmofo was brought about by Raila. Mm -hmm. If you know, in my community you want to marry, you get a wife for your own. It's you to get that woman. If you get that woman today, you are marrying, you are marrying Jennifer. Tomorrow, you don't want Jennifer. Mm -hmm. You have married Mary. Tomorrow you don't want Mary. And then the other day, you, you see, finally, it is you, the man who is having problems. Right. It's not about this, these women. Mm -hmm. Because for sure, since 20, 2007, uh, Raila Amolo Odinga, um, after losing to Kibaki, he said no to Kivuitu. He said he must go. Kivuitu went. When he lost to uh, Uru, 2013, he said, Isaac Hassan, should go. Haisa Kazan went. Mm -hmm. Now he has lost 2017 to Uru. He is now saying Chiloba and company must mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Until, I mean, so every time you lose, people must go. Right. Uh, let's focus on the Supreme Court equation here because uh, on Thursday, just two days from now, the Supreme Court will be giving its full verdict uh, with regard to what informed its nullification of the August 8th election. In a status report uh, by Saffron and uh, Otmofo to the IBC yesterday, uh, they indicated that they have to wait for the full verdict of the Supreme Court because should it rule or should it determine that uh, the French farm must move its servers to Kenya, then they will need more than 30 days to make that happen, which means that uh, if this farm is to stick, then we may not technically, uh, it, may not, it, it may be technically impossible rather to hold an election even by the 31st of uh, October. Is this a decision that may inform a different farm? With Raila Odinga, they're saying there's already five firms within the country that are willing to lease their kids to the IBC. Okay, um, you see, constitutionally, we have 60 days. Mm -hmm allowed by the constitution for us to do a repeat of elections, right. of which uh, statistically it is going to end on 31st mm -hmm. of October. Mm -hmm. And uh, if that is what is going to happen, the, the law is so silent on what happens after, that, that, after the 60 days. Mm -hmm. And so if there's anything they can do, and if they cannot conduct elections on 17, mm -hmm. Most, most probably what will happen is in agreement and because the, the two parties, the two coalitions have agreed that they have to meet mm -hmm. so that they come around with what they want to, to happen. Right. But if, if actually there is nothing that can bar us from conducting these, these elections of 17, mm -hmm. according to me, we should go so that we go on with our lives. Right. But if it is a must that IBC rules that we have to change the farm, 
And uh, like any other independent body, and we are very, always respected, mm. even the ruling that came, we'll also still respect this. But as long as it doesn't go beyond the, man the constitutional mandates that are given, right. the days, the 60 days. Right. So, yeah. Of course, Jubilee says that they did respect that ruling by the Supreme Court, but uh, public opinion and public perception uh, seems to be that uh, Jubilee is attacking the judiciary. Uh, if uh, what's on the front page of the Standard newspaper uh, this morning is uh, anything to go by, there have been two damning petitions that have been filed against uh, two Supreme Court judges, Justices Isaac Lenaola and uh, Philomena Mwilu, who are two of the four judges uh, who nullified or who were in favor of nullifying the August eighth election and uh, so far we've seen uh, jubilee with the likes of our uh, senator murkom and deputy president william bruto and even the president say that uh, nasa colluded with the supreme court uh, so so that uh, the election could have been nullified does that really signal a respect of the decision of the supreme court i want to reason from uh, the point of uh, just being a human being mm -hmm. live alone with these positions we have deputy president majority leader what 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 let, let's i want to reason just like any other human being a feeling mm -hmm. i think this in it's uh, just very normal it's very human when something is ruled or something is done against your will mm -hmm. you'll always react but uh, does not mean that uh, Jubilee did not respect the ruling. Because if actually, you know, they're the people in power. Mm -hmm. If they were to say, we, we don't want to hear about this and that, we would have behaved like people who don't have a rule of law. And for sure, these people are just expressing their feeling. Mm -hmm. I want to also believe if the thing would have been ruled against, uh, in, not in favor of Raila, you would have also had the same. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the issue is we want to don't just uh, give a blanket of saying Jubilee or the government is not actually respecting the, the, the judiciary. But it, I think there is a, a serious feeling and most probably the expectations of our, of our leaders. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they least expected the ruling. Right, uh, just before we continue, let's listen in uh, to what uh, Senator Murkom and Deputy President William Bruto and the President Uhuru Kenyatta had to say about uh, the collusion, alleged collusion between NASA and the Supreme Court. Use your independence to do good. That independence has been given to you by the people of Kenya serve their interests. We want elections within that 60-day period. We want elections on the date that was announced by the IBC. Wale tunashindana na wao, walipanga njama na mahakama ya kunajizi demokrasia ya Kenya na kuendesha mapinduzi ya uamuzi wa wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya nataka ni mwadeshe mkati anisikie vizuri sana usilete mchezo na ani kwa kazi ile uongozi tunaongea hapa ni maisha ya wa Kenya wakarudi kutuambia ya kwamba kura ya mwananchi sio hoja kubwa hoja kubwa Ni form he, ni form wile, ni form he. The Supreme Court of Kenya was used by conmen. They conspired through treachery, conmanship and deceit to shortchange and subvert and overturn the will of 15 million Kenyans. All right, so that's uh, what uh, Jubilee leaders have had to say about uh, the Supreme Court. A lot of allegations that uh, NASA colluded with the Supreme Court, but uh, the court will be giving its full verdict in two days. And this is something we've had Jubilee really ask for uh, mm. since uh, the 1st of September. We need to see the full verdict to see what informed mm. these four judges' nullification of the election. What are you expecting on Thursday? Um, I think uh, what we need to see actually is the full ruling. Mm -hmm. Because if we are going to another election, we should know what to take care of. Right. Because if we just go blindly again, we might be uh, put in the same scenario mm -hmm. where we repeat the same mistake. Uh, my expectation in this is, uh, of course, like uh, the, 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 we want them to show us how the forms were filled. We want to know what happened where. Mm -hmm. 
in this transmission, which, where, where, where there was the interruption, right. so that at least these loopholes are sealed mm -hmm. before we go to the next elections. Mm -hmm. I personally want to believe, if we want to see this ruling, we want to see the full ruling, so that actually we go to this other election while knowing what we should avoid. Right. And how committed is Jubilee to have loopholes sealed before the next election uh, with uh, such criticism directed towards uh, the NASA brigade with, with regard to the demands they have already issued to the IBC? They say they want a secretariat gone. Uh, they say they want a different firm other than Otmopo to do the transmission results. They say they want a different firm other than Al uh, to print the ballot boxes. Aren't those loopholes that Jubilee feels need to be sealed before the election? Of course, um uh, like the, the, the feeling that I have and uh, what I'm seeing Jubilee also wanting to have is them they want to have these elections done and we go on with the life. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think IBC is an independent body. Right. Judiciary is an independent body. Mm -hmm. Jubilee somehow is not going to be directly involved in actually the, uh, the, the, the actual sealing of these loopholes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What they are only going to do is to do the facilitation, like we are going to do a um, supplementary budget. I know when we go back to the parliament, that's a facilitation mm -hmm. for IBC and maybe, maybe the judiciary to do whatever it takes for them to have these elections right. be done in the right way. Mm -hmm. But it's not a direct uh, action of the government to actually impact on it. The decision. Yes. Uh, but even as uh, Jubilee accuses NASA of colluding with the Supreme Court, uh, the opposition is accusing Jubilee of colluding uh, with the Independent Electoral and uh, Boundaries Commission. And we saw this last week with that uh, scheduled meeting between IBC and uh, the two parties. Uh, as NASA says, the meeting did not take place. Jubilee says, but we were there. Um, it's just that we happened to be there 30 minutes after NASA left, so they're the ones who did not drop the meeting. Yes. Another meeting has been scheduled for tomorrow between yes. the two parties yes. uh, and uh, the REBC. Uh, would you say, you know, with public perception out there, uh, that uh, IBC is working under duress from the government and the Jubilee Party? Um, I, I don't think uh, that's how we need to take it. I think there was also, at first, there was the fear of unknown. Mm -hmm. And like in this country for a very long time, we've had uh, politics taking directions of tribalis mm -hmm. tribalism. Whereby, if you belong to a certain community, it is outright that you belong to a certain party. Polit political coalition or a party. Mm -hmm. And so, this is what actually affected the uh, judiciary because it is somebody thinks, somebody feels that because uh, such and such a person belongs to this community, most probably is they are the ones who have colluded with these other people mm -hmm. so that they have come out with these type of results or ruling. But uh, I think going forward, what we need to do is come out of this uh, tribal right. politics mm -hmm. so that when we have our people uh, mandated in certain positions, we trust that they are going to give services that are not going actually to be tailor-made by their, uh, their, their, their political uh, alignments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So for, 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 for going forward, Jubilee, NASA, in my own thinking, uh, we should come together. They should come together and I make agreements, talk, have dialogue, mm -hmm. and agree on what to happen when. All right. So that we actually go to these elections smoothly. And I would also want to uh, make a, a request to NASA leader and the, and the NASA team that uh, can we go slowly in these uh, demands? Mm -hmm. Because you see what happens here, these demands that we are making left, right, center mm -hmm. is derailing the whole country. Right. Social economical activities of this country is really affected. Mm -hmm. So uh, soon, if we are not careful, uh, the shilling versus the dollar, we might not afford doing some of these things. Right. So we need, uh, we need actually to go forward. Mm -hmm. So they can actually slow down on the demands so that we move faster. I mean, uh, I know after elections again, we don't know what happens. We are also living in the fear of unknown mm -hmm. because we don't know whether after these elections we are going back to courts again. Mm -hmm. We don't know whether after these elections we'll get 50 plus one. Mm -hmm. Of course, like Jubilee is trusting that we'll get 70 plus one. Mm -hmm. I don't know how practical this is, but we want to believe, we want to see these uh, 
these leaders going down to the people, right. wooing the voters to vote for them, to vote them in. But we don't want to see a scenario where we are seeing some people are not ready to do elections. Mm -hmm. It's like some people are planning to just boycott. I'm a one I tied him some cutter. I don't know mm -hmm. because the feeling that I have personally is this shifting of uh, demands probably is pushing us towards not doing the elections. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a conversation we'll have uh, to continue at a later date, just 28 days uh, to the repeat presidential election set for the 17th of October. That is the political point this morning. I'm going to take a short break on Morning Express, but uh, do stay with us. More news coming up on the other side. For now, however, I'd like to release our viewers watching us on KTN Home. Life and Style is coming up next. Many thanks for staying with us. Good morning. Do stay with us after the break.